Constitution and he's all sorts of funny, you know, funny sort of witticisms and they were all in his plays and uh, of course every every Irish student uh, learns them at some stage or another, they, they have to read uh, uh, Oscar Wilde. So um, we're going to turn right here and we'll see the longest line of um, of Georgian houses in Europe, uh, except there's one little gap and that's actually being uh, done up at the moment. So the typical uh, associations with uh, Georgian buildings are, well first of all they're very tall, uh, they're about four floors over basement and that's why you see a lot of plaques beside the doors because there's really no private addresses here anymore because people just, uh, they can't afford those sort of um, houses. So they're all broken up and you've got the, um, you know, you've got the uh, you know, uh, individual professions and um, their their have their offices there. You have um, uh, restaurants, um, embassies, art clubs, all that sort of stuff. Uh, they have their offices here. So yeah, that's what the the signs there you see outside the door. So traditionally, um, just uh, the ground floor or the basement were the kitchens and then ground the first floors were the various different rooms for the ladies and the gents and then up above it are the playrooms and the bedrooms and of course they'd employ quite a few staff there as well. So they are rebuilding some of these uh, some of these Georgian houses and uh, so they'd probably be up there in the next one. So nice fan lights in that as well and uh, foot scrapers, door knockers all that sort of stuff and a particular colours associated with uh, Georgian Dublin. So if you were 